Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. So today I wanted to share with you guys something that I've been using for a while and I think that is very useful for students. I use a lot of PDFs to study so um, I have to go through a lot of PDF, edit them, convert them and also um, annotate notes. So I thought I'll share it with you guys what a PDF editor I use. So I recently started using the all-in-one PDF element. Wondershare PDF element is an all-in-one PDF editor for editing, annotating, signing, and converting files. It has a very user-friendly interface which makes it so much easier for us to annotate notes. So I'll give you guys a step-by-step -step feature of PDF element so that you can try it as well. Now PDF element has an AI feature which is even cooler so I thought I'll share with you guys all the features of PDF element. So the first feature is editing. Uh, once you upload a file you can easily edit and annotate notes. My favorite is of course highlighting, underlining and making a box. Of all the important things this is my favorite. You you can also easily add sticky notes onto your documents. In addition to that, you can also add boxes and also point out any key events that have taken place. In addition to that, you can also add boxes and also point out any key events that have taken place. You can also change color, size, shape of all the elements, which is really effective while annotating notes and studying. Now PDF element has a new AI assistant where you can chat with the AI. You can also summarize a PDF, check out the grammar, check for AI written content and also translate your PDF. So here I have asked AI to summarize the PDF and in a second it has summarized the entire PDF, making it super easy for me to study and revise the summarized portion. You can easily check grammar for the PDF in a second. Also with annotating, you can can also add text to your document which is again very helpful when you are trying to study. Along with that you can easily convert your PDF into Word, Excel, PPT, image to text and much more. Along with that you can also organize your pages in the PDF. This is very helpful when there are a lot of pages in a single PDF. You can easily organize it as you want. One of my favorite feature is the translating feature where you can translate your entire PDF. Here I am translating my PDF into a Japanese. You can chat with the AI and ask questions from the PDF. Here I have asked some questions about the PDF but you can also ask questions in general and the AI will help you to answer and generate an answer very quickly. So as you guys can see I have asked another question from this case and it gives a very accurate answer whenever I ask a question so I really like this feature because whenever I have a doubt I can easily clear it off with this AI tool as I've mentioned earlier I can easily translate the PDF into any language I want and here I am translating into Japanese and it gives an accurate translation of the PDF I have cross-checked it so here it has translated my PDF into Japanese it is really convenient because you don't have to really go into different websites to do one one thing you can do it all in PDF element. You can also use free template for planners. I use the study planner to organize all my tasks. You can also download. There are free version and paid version. Another main feature is signing contracts and documents. You can simply fill and sign within seconds. There is no hustle, there is no bustle. You can sign then convert and send it. One of my favorite feature from pdf element is that you can perform ocr and convert scanned pdf into text format so this is what makes pdf stand out from everything else as it has everything under one roof and it is a super app where it has everything a student needs to take notes and edit it 
digital pdf element is a life saver when it comes to managing pdfs efficiently so if you're looking for an affordable powerful pdf tool definitely try it out i have pinned the download link in the comment box down below so feel free to check it out and thank you for watching today's video don't forget to subscribe and uh, let me know if you want more recommendations on each app i'll provide all the links in the description box down below so make sure to check it out and let me know your thoughts Bye-bye. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.